Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here today for another segment of Discovery Days. Let's first start off, as always, by thanking our free family sponsors um, at the Chickasaw Nation and at the Inasmuch Foundation for making Discovery Days possible for you guys. All righty. So here at the Oklahoma Hall of Fame in our museum, our mission is to tell Oklahoma's story through its people because we believe that Oklahomans and future generations of Oklahomans, including our lovely viewers out there, are changing the world and can change the world at all times. Alrighty, so for today's Oklahoma Hall of Fame member feature is Ree Drummond, or as many of y'all might know her as the pioneer woman. So Ree Drummond um, started her career blogging about her life on her family's ranch. Drummond's blog attract, attracted more than 20 million page views per month. This success resulted in Drummond starting her TV show, The Pioneer Woman. So in, in 2016, she opened The Pioneer Woman Mercantile in Pahuska, Oklahoma, which includes a restaurant, bakery, and a retail store. And as many of you guys might know, um, if you go to Walmart, she also has her own line of like cookware, like pots and pans and like little tea kettles, all in her style. They can also get local, um, pretty readily available. So for today's story time, we'll be reading Llama Llama Red Pajama, inspired by today's craft, and a little bit inspired about Rejum and herself of maybe what type of farm animals you might find <laughs> while on her ranch. So let me go ahead and switch my screen so you can read the book with me. There we go. It's a pretty small book. Pretty small compared to other books. But this is the book, Llama Llama Red Pajama by Anna uh, Dudney. So let's go ahead and get started. Llama Llama Red Pajama reads a story with his mama. Mama kisses baby's hair. Mama Llama goes downstairs. That's a really cute blanket, by the way. I really like it. Llama Llama Red Pajama feels alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink. Mama's at the kitchen sink. He's, you know, ba baby llama's right. You need a nice drink. You can't be, can't go to sleep dehydrated. Llama llama, red pajama, calls down to his llama mama. Mama sa says she'll be up soon. Baby llama hums a tune. Llama llama, red pajama, waiting, waiting for his mama. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby llama starts to fret. Llama Llama Red Pajama whimpers softly for his mama. Mama Llama hears the phone. Baby Llama starts to moan. Oh no, looks like Mama Llama is just taking her time getting Baby Llama a drink. <laughs> Llama Llama Red Pajama listens quiet for his mama. What is Mama do Mama Llama doing? Baby Llama starts behooing. Llama Llama Red Pajama hollers loudly for his mama. Baby Llama stomps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. Oh no, Baby Llama seems to be jumping on the bed. We know you're not supposed to do that. So Llama Llama Red Pajama in the dark without his mama. Eyes wide open, covers drawn. What if Mama Llama is gone? Llama Llama Red Pajama, weeping, wailing for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Mama Llama, run, run, run. <gasps> okay, that seemed to get her attention, right? Now she's storming through the kitchen. She both burst open the door. See what's wrong with Baby Llama. Baby Llama, what a tizzy. Sometimes mama's very busy. Please stop all this llama drama and be patient with your mama. Oh, I don't think Mama Llama is very happy of how Baby Llama acted. Little Llama, don't you know, Mama loves you, Mama Llama loves you so. Ba Mama Llama's always near, even if she's not right here. Oops, there we go. Llama Llama, red pajama, gets two kisses from his mama. Snuggles pillow, um, soft and deep. Baby Llama goes to sleep. All righty, so that concludes our story time about um, Llama Llama, or Llama in his red pajamas. 
And, you know, it might be a little bit scary to go to sleep all on your own or in the dark, but always know, whoop, sorry, <laughs> that your parents are near at all times, are your grownups. So, of course, that leads us to our next portion of the Discovery Day, which is craft time, which I'm just going to gather my supplies. I don't have an example craft on me right now. So, I hope you guys understand what we're making. We will be making our own sheep. A little sheep out of cotton balls. And yes, let me just pull out my googly eyes. Whoops, now I got stuff all over me. I have five cotton balls that should be enough to cover up this circle. And as always, if you don't have a circle already on hand, go ahead and pause this video, get an adult to help you cut out the circle and come back and play it back and we'll get started to our next step. So I guess the first step would be get get a pretty uh, nice medium, smallish size circle. Honestly, it can be any size circle. You just have to keep in mind how many cotton balls you might need for your circle. So like I said, first step, get a circle. And if you need to pause the video, go ahead. And I'm assuming that you unpause the video. So now you're ready for step two, which is putting all our cotton balls onto our circle to make it look like, a you know, the sheep school. So I'm the first thing I wanna do is actually start placing my cotton balls, be sure I have enough room for all of them. And I should, yes, I should. Okay, good. And if you need to pull some apart, go, you can absolutely do that. I might do it for one. I'm tempted to pull them apart. So I might just pull apart one. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just add glue all around. Whoops. Maybe do so carefully so you don't do that to your circle, but that's fine. Whoops, and I got glue on my finger. So I'll go ahead and just start putting my cotton. Ooh. I guess be careful with this crap. You might get glue on you. It might be very sticky. So I think I'm gonna add some more glue right there and just do a full cotton ball and do another one right there in the middle. I know it's very hard to see because of the lighting and it's white. So just imagine me just adding a lot of glue and cotton balls onto a circle. Oops. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a few more con, the remaining cotton balls I have onto my circle. And that should, yes, and it's also very soft. I like this craft because it's very textury as well, or textile. So next step is go ahead and adding, or sticking our now cotton ball, <laughs> I guess our, our sheep's body onto a popsicle stick. And we're gonna add it to the middle because the one end is gonna be kind of like, you know, the space for the googly eyes and maybe the ears, so. Add it like that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just add glue in the middle of my popsicle stick. Also a good time. This would be a good time to, you know, add glue. So that way, if you did directly glue your cotton balls, you can get all that cottony, cottony, cotton off your glue stick. So next step I'm going to do is go ahead and add our circle onto our glue, our popsicle stick. And I'm going to press down so that way it sticks. Awesome. Oop, and now since I my fingers are covered in glue, so now it's kind of the cotton balls are kind of coming off. So it might be a good idea before you move on that you might wash your hands after or wipe them down after you glue that we don't get, you know, cotton everywhere on you. So the next step would be to go ahead and add some eyes to our popsicle sticks. I'm gonna add some, and might, they might not be absolutely centered. As I said, I don't have small ones and our popsicle sticks are pretty small. So they might have to be a little bit like this but it works, right? So we got some eyes. Awesome. So our last step, if you have some extra construction paper laying around you, is to add some ears for our, for our little um, sheep. 
so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and cut out. I, like I said, I just got some extra construction paper I had laying around. I'm just going to cut maybe just that much of a bit. And that should be enough, truthfully, for both of the ears. I might cut it again in half. And then I'm going to round it out, round it off. So like this. And of course, if you need an adult to help you, go ahead and pause the video and get one. That way the ears. Okay, this one's going to have pretty big ears. So let me go ahead and cut it in half again. I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. And I forgot to mention, and if you really wanted, maybe you want to do this craft again, you can absolutely color your popsicle stick or your circle. It doesn't have to be white. It can be any color you want. So you have like colorful sheep maybe. But yes, I finally got the ears. So now I need to add the ears onto my little sheepy guy right here. So I'm gonna add some glue to the bottom right here. Oh, I'm having a tough time with my nails. It's probably time for me to cut them. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick it right behind a popsicle stick, or at least try to. Once again, everything wants to stick to me rather than the craft itself. Awesome, so we got one ear and it can be pointed, it can be any like angle you want it to be. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing now. Whoops. And add our final ear to our little sheep friend. And we're done. We just made our own little, it almost seems like a puppet, like a little, little sheep. And if you want to, you maybe have like a marker or something, add a little smiley face to your sheep. You can absolutely do that. And once it, like I said, if you want to add color, like maybe color your popsicle first, you can absolutely do that. If you want to recreate this craft, who knows, maybe you just want to use up all your cotton balls you have at home. But this is a little craft inspired by our friends, Ray Drummond and the red llama llama red pajama. Let me pull it up this way for you guys to see. And then let me go ahead and stop share so you can properly see what I made. Once again, it's very bright in here, but I hope you get the gist. And I hope you guys enjoy today's story time and craft. And of course, I will see you guys next week for another segment of Discovery Day. So I hope you have a good rest of your week and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.